Hello friends, this is Durga again from Mightyversity. He wants to stop to learn all the technologies. So at this time we are talking about HDP certified developer, um, the second module data transformation. And in this video I will try to cover how to store the data from a pig relation to a folder in HDFS. So to see the basic syntax you can click on the link. Most likely they might provide access to this. Uh, they didn't mention anything uh, what kind of documentation you will have access to. But uh, looking at the curriculum, I, I guess they will provide this. So you can click on the corresponding link or, um, and uh, it will take you to the pig Latin basics. So um, even though they don't provide the exact link, you will have access to this one. This one and uh, many other resources. And from there you can actually search for the store command. And this is the basic syntax of store. So you have, you have to say store and uh, it's a keyword um, uh, which is uh, which belongs to pig uh, latin language and then alias uh, in place of alias you have to give the name of a relation into is another keyword which is required to tell which uh, into which directory in hdfs the data needs to be loaded and here the directory should be hdfs directory uh, so the name of the storage uh, directory in quotes if the directory already exists the store operation will fail so you cannot actually store into the same directory that is existing um, or you can also give the uh, file name i guess uh, we will see whether we can give the file name or not and then uh, uh, you can uh, uh, say using and then you can uh, store using different formats the default format if you do not specify using function uh, will be uh, pig storage and uh, uh, which means it will store in text format but if you want to store in a sequence file format you have to use bin storage so like that there are several storages which you can use okay and if you want to for each column if you want to specify the delimiter you can pass it to um, as a parameter to the uh, using uh, the class specified in the using which is pick storage by default uh, so we will see all those things hands on now so I am going to the uh, terminal which uh, and log. I have already logged into the uh, sandbox, uh, the VM sandbox. You can say a host name to which tells you where you are, and then launch the pig. Hit enter. So first to store the data, first we need to read. Uh, 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 existing data and process it and then only we can run the store so as we have done earlier we just have to uh, read the data by using load command uh, to run the load command we have to uh, uh, provide a relation or bag so first we have to start with the bag name which is let's say departments I would like to read the data uh, uh, of departments which is in HDFS already you can validate the location by running fs minus ls user root scoop import departments so the uh, uh, all these uh, directories in hdfs are actually um, copied using scoop so if you follow the videos you will understand easily if you don't understand go back and uh, go to the videos from the beginning so let's validate you can see there are uh, five six files and each of them have some data in it the data set is very small so we'll read this data uh, first let me give the name to the bag uh, or relation uh, i am giving it uh, the, uh, a name as departments and then use the load command user uh, root scoop import departments and then you you can have um, many aliases i mean many relations as part of your processing as many as you want this video does not cover uh, uh, details of how to process the data using other operators uh, but I just want to show you how to store into HDFS using the store command and we will see different options and hit enter now if you describe departments it, it does not have any schema and we will try to store this into some other location in hdfs so what i will do is i will run the store command so, uh, so commands like store and dump does not have to start with the relation name 
they are the ones which will actually initiate the execution of your programs. Until then, uh, it will evaluate uh, the expressions which uh, which are assigned to uh, which are assigned to the relations, and it will generate the explain plan. So let's say store, and uh, uh, we have to give the uh, location. Uh, sorry, we have to give the uh, name of the relation. So if you go to the syntax here, you can see it. Store alias alias is nothing but name of a relation. In this case, relation is departments. And then into is keyword. And then you have to tell the location to which you want to copy the files. Root departments. And hit enter. Now it is running a MapReduce job which will read the data from user root scoop import departments and write into user root departments which is the target location for our store command. So it will create the directory departments we can validate by running fs minus ls user root departments and hit enter. You can see now it has only created one file. Uh, by default it, it it use uh, it depending upon the functionality it uses as many files uh, as it want in this case we are dealing with very small data for this small data set it will only use one reducer one reducer will actually translate into one file so you don't need to worry much about how many files are generated you can just uh, see whether all the data is copied or not for that you can say fs minus cat user root so these are hadoop commands or HDFS commands which we are running in the pig context. If you want, you can also run from the Linux terminal by using Hadoop FS minus cat. In pig, you don't need to specify the Hadoop. Root departments slash star. All the file names I am passing it as part star. So all the files which start with part will be read. And hit enter. Now you can see there are six files here. If you go to the original location, which is scoop import slash department slash part even this one have the six records the order is different because uh, MapReduce need not uh, uh, preserve the order uh, of the input data so you don't need to worry about it the main thing you need to understand is you should use store command to, to store the data now if you want to change the delimiter what you and then store it so i am adding little bit processing to the data and i want to store using a different delimiter so for that what you have to do is first you have to load the com uh, load the data and you have to define the schema here using pig storage as department id integer department name care array don't worry that it is it does not uh, showing up uh, showing here properly it is the issue with the uh, pig command line interface sometimes it happens but this is the command it act, uh, we actually ran now if you say describe departments and hit enter you can see there is a schema for this now we will use store command so let us remove the directory because if you try to store into the existing directory, it will fail. So I am trying to MS, uh, remove it by running fs minus rm command. I want to delete recursively user root departments and hit enter. Now the directory is deleted. And now if you go back and run the command ls user root departments, it will come plain saying that no such file or directory because we have deleted the directory recursively which deletes the files and the directories. Now let's go back to the store command again. You can hit the up arrow and uh, go there. And here you can say using again you can say pig storage and let's say the delimiter I want pipe and hit enter. Now what it, do, what it is doing it is reading data which are comma separated and writing into writing the same data into a directory which is pipe separated and once it is run we can validate the results whether the data is copied properly or not so it says success 
uh, one good thing and then you can actually again go back to the history to validate whether there is a file there is a file here now you can also run fs minus cat command on this location use the root departments and hit enter now you can see that data is stored in pipe so this is how you can define the delimiters while storing the data so it's not only um, uh, changing the delimiters you can even change the um, uh, file format so right now the file format is text input format or text format if you want to change into binary you can also say i am deleting the data on directory again now i will try to store using something called bin storage which stands for binary storage and let us run this command and uh, then validate the results then you will understand what the bin storage is bin storage is that it will actually store the data in binary format okay and now if you do ss minus ls you got the file and if you see the file size is 128 bytes earlier it is only 60 bytes and if you do cat it will the data will be garbled it will not be as clear as before now you can see that it is completely uh, garbled and if you want to read this data again properly then what you have to do is you have to departments bin i am creating a relation and load the path user root departments okay using what is the storage it's bin storage and what is the delimiter it's pipe and hit enter and now if you dump departments underscore bin and hit enter it will run the map reduce job and it will get the results that is there in that file now you can see that data is properly read so it is very very important to validate um, and ensure that results are correct if you don't validate properly then you will be in trouble uh, whether it is project or the certification if you see i have validated in two ways first i have ran the cat command but uh, the output is weird it doesn't make any sense so i actually ran the load command again like this like this to read the uh, binary data and then i actually dump it and everything looks good so that's how you should validate the results so what we have seen so far we have seen how to load text data uh, as is and uh, we have also seen how to uh, 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 load the text data and store it into as text data as is without any transformations and also we have seen how to change the delimiters of our data by using uh, using command uh, and passing the delimiter as the parameter to the underlying storage and also we have seen how to read the text data and convert it into binary and also we have seen how to read the binary data so we have seen so many things with, uh, within this uh, 14 minute video and before closing this i will introduce to another uh, file format which is json storage so again we can use the we can first remove the file uh, directory departments and then go to store command okay and then you can say json storage and hit enter so the the storage should be the valid storage pig storage is the valid storage bin storage is the valid storage and json storage is the valid storage for json storage you don't need to specify delimiters because it 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 will use the metadata uh, as well while um, copying the data and we will see how the data is represented in json so you can actually do cat command here and you can see that for each column now for, means for each record the column names are also included uh, so department id and department name are there in each and every record uh, for that reason in json which stands for, uh, which is nothing but javascript object notation 
you don't need to specify the delimiters so you need to understand the underlying file format characteristics and you can make a very educated and accurate guess about how you should pass the delimiters if you want to change the delimiters uh, with the typical file systems like uh, text uh, file formats like text format or binary format you can do that by passing to the constructor but um, um, where the structure is also stored as metadata uh, uh, in formats such as json format that is not applicable like we have seen here you don't need to pass the constructor so even if they go out of the box and give some other file format they will provide you ample information as long as you understand what is the purpose of store and how how you can use it you will be able to take care of it and also one more uh, important thing you need to remember uh, while doing the store command is that you will be able to store the data directly into the hive table and we will see that as part of the next video there is a separate topic uh, uh, in the certification curriculum so it will be covered as a separate video that being said i hope uh, you understand how to uh, uh, copy the data into hdfs using the store command as specified in the certification uh, curriculum uh, we have covered text format binary format and json format um, and uh, if you uh, have any questions um, on any other format you can post it as a comment uh, if you like the video please click on the like button if you want to get more quicker response to your question go to stack overflow and write the uh, question in stack overflow with the appropriate tag if you want to provide the feedback on this video please use the comment section of the video if you um, want to discuss further on the certifications please join my uh, group called it university hadoop certifications and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye